Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular video we are going to learn about how to use closers in JavaScript. It is one of the most confusing topic in JavaScript but I will try my best to explain you in the most easiest way it can. Right. So what is closer? Uh, so normally closer is created when a function remembers the variable from its outer scope. Right. Even after uh, that outer function has finished running, it remembers that variable which is in its outer scope. So we will understand it via code and the examples, don't worry. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and uh, understand that what are closers. So we are inside our Visual Studio code and uh, our JavaScript file. So let's first write the definition of closure. So basically, uh, in, if I talk about in about the closure in simple words, so what it is, it is the inner function can access variables of outer function even after outer function ends. This is the basic definition of your closer. What it means that the inner function, the inner function that it means the function inside a function so that inner function can access the variables of that outer function even though that outer function is stopped like it ended. Even though uh, if you try to call the inner function it can remember the variables uh, that is uh, present inside the outer function. So, uh, if you understood it, then it's good. Otherwise, I'm going to give you an example. After that, I believe that you will understand the concept very clearly, right? So, uh, let's give an example. Let's write a function. Function num, name outer. And inside outer, let's give a variable. Let name equals to Amit right okay and uh, let's give uh, another function inside the outer function that is inner function right inner and let's write console dot log hello plus name right okay so how it is accessing name the name is present in the outer function so it is accessing the name uh, from the outer function variable right so this is the concept here now let's move forward and this outer function is returning what this inner function right so this outer function is returning this inner function so every time you call this outer function, it will render a inner function, return a inner function, and this inner function contains this logic where uh, this part line of code says that hello name, and the name is coming from the variable of outer function, right? Okay. Don't need to be get, get much confused. It is very simple to understand, right? So const greet equals to outer function. So what I'm doing, I'm doing that uh, I'm storing the out return value or whatever the thing this outer function is returning inside a variable named greet. So what is happening here that outer function is returning inner function. So this inner function is now stored inside the now the uh, this inner function is stored inside the greet, right? This inner function is now stored inside the greet okay fine uh, let's move forward now if i call the greet function greet as a function i call it then what you think i will get this should get printed but why because now i am just uh, i just shared the function to this greet right but if i try to call this greet then outer function is ended no it has written whatever the ending uh, part is there so it has written now it is over it, it has gone now what I am having is just this uh, one function 
uh, inside the greet and every time when I'm calling this greet then only this function will run but the twist is that every time this function will run it can access the variable which was present in the outer function that's the beauty of closer that's the thing that's the concept which your closer tells to you right so if I try to print or call this greet function then just check the console where is a console and you can see here hello Amit right so here we are having hello and the name it can access the name from the outer function variable that is Amit and it is showing me that hello Amit right so even though outer function is done running inner function is still remember the name equals to Amit and this is your closure this is your closer right let's let's uh, let's take another example i know that you guys might having some doubt right so uh, let's take some uh, funny example right not funny but yeah a real life example pizza maker uh, let's take a function name pizza maker and inside of it uh, let the secret in ingredient equals to cheese right okay now function function and add toppings now I'm adding a topping function inside the pizza maker function that is C log and I'm saying that making pizza with lots of with lots of secret ingredients right okay now if this outer function pizza maker return returns what add topping function right add topping function now I am storing make my pizza equals to pizza maker right and I am again calling my make my pizza so this was the outer function I have stored the out return value inside this make my pizza variable and what this pizza maker is returning it is returning a function named add topping and add topping has this line of code right so as you can see here pizza maker is actually uh, the output the return uh, add topping is now stored inside the app, make my pizza uh, and every time I'm calling this make my pizza function it will sh show me the code the line of code which is written inside this function right so just try to understand what I'm think saying just think of pizza maker as a pizza shop right as a pizza shop now it has a secret ingredient huh, which is cheese that no one outside can see right now if it gives you a chef it gives you a chef that is add topping who remembers the secret ingredient this add topping remembers the secret ingredient because every time I print this make my pizza which is having this add topping function it will print this secret ingredient right so even after the shop is closed even after this pizza maker which is a shop is closed the chef the chef add topping right it still remembers the secret recipe that is secret ingredient and this is what your closure is so if i go to the console you can see making pizza with lots of cheese right so the cheese is coming from the outer function even after this outer function pizza maker is actually got closed because it written whatever the value it required to share and it shared a uh, add topping and add topping is a function and every time i'm trying to access this add topping function through this make my pizza it will return me the content inside of it where this secret ingredient is accessing the value from the outer function which is the 
secret ingredient of pizza maker right even though the pizza maker is stopped working it has returned something so that's the concept of your closure there's nothing uh, much to get worried about that i'm not understanding how i will implement it uh, in most of the cases you just need to understand that what the concept says uh, in uh, many project uh, i have worked on many and lot of projects but i never use these closures properties ever and if there are the chances that you need to use this closer properties uh, you can easily implement it don't think of uh, like don't you don't need to create a mesh in your mind about the concept and it's working it is as simple as you can think it is just what i have told in this particular lecture that's the length of this particular topic right so this was all about closure i hope you get it and uh, if you get it then make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe the channel we will meet in the next video till then goodbye